Alright, Stockmaster fans, from the VHS era, from the video stores, it's called Women Unchained. No man is safe once these animals are unleashed. Let's check it out. The fight breaks out in prison. I think that served as a distraction. The escape attempt is on. To the roof they go. Five ladies get out. When they get to the highway, they flag down a car. They knock him out and take his car. The cops had chased them. The ladies were ahead a little bit. One of them jumped out real quick, and she has a gun. Some of the ladies don't get along. Anyway, they find themselves at a farmhouse. You won't get hurt. You long? Yes, but uh, what is this? I just want to use your place for a while. Then you keep your head, and you know it'll get hurt. One of them confides in the other. Quietly ask me to withhold her medication. To let her go. That's what it did. And they called it murder. She loves her. We can see a flashback on one of the ladies and how she got there. I you Mexicans can be big stuff. JC is really horny. They shot the guy as he was trying to leave. But then as they were trying to leave, remember the one girl who got rejected who was coming out of the other girl? She doesn't handle rejection very well. They encounter a cop. I have a little farm about 20 miles from here. And a girl? Oh, well, this, this this is only my, my, my cousin Angela from Los Angeles. Is this about that prison break? Yes. Then the guy starts to drive crazy. And end up in an accident. They end up having to shoot him, so they have a new plan now. Get to Mexico. Okay. Go and think of something. Anybody got any ideas? My brother can get us into Mexico. But what do we got to lose? 
Now, Baby there on the left, I think this is her little sister or some sort of relative. But she has a boyfriend named Jerry, but I think that was her former boyfriend or something. She knows Jerry's a cad and she wants to prove it to her. I don't believe it. Honey, he's using her. The same way he used me. And you might as well learn it before you throw away your whole life. The She's going to prove it to her. Jerry comes home and she's listening in the other room. I said, aren't you glad to see me? For sure, baby. It's been a long time. Are you going to marry Susan, Jerry? Marry her? Says who? Well, she said the last time she was out. Now, baby, you know it's only you. She's so young. She don't know what's up yet. So baby leaves with Jerry. That's her name, baby. And Susan, of course, is distraught. <laughs> That's the end of Jerry. Well, we need some help. I ain't looking for no trouble, sister. Hey, man, this is JC you're talking to. Now, we need some IDs and some passports. Them things cost money. I didn't ask you that. Now, can you do it? Money. Dig money. I ain't running no charity shop. So they need two grand, so she decides to visit a pimp friend that she knows. Not doing too bad just that for a new side of things, little sister. Well, so mama. So mama. How's she doing? You know, the same, don't you? Johnny's gonna help her. So Johnny sends two of his whores to basically move this other guy out of a thousand dollars. Johnny gives her the rest of the money, the money they got from his two bitches there. You cool? Right. Okay, let's go. This guy was supposed to help him, but they tie him up. Then they rob a store. Did you get everything? Yeah. Hold on. Hey, hey. Drink to that. So they meet the guy who's going to help them get to Mexico. But this guy's friends with a cop who happens to stop by this night. They get rid of him, but he does show up again the next day, just as this plane was coming to take him all to Mexico. And we have a shootout. So the four girls left, three of them get shot. JC, however, manages to hitch a ride on that plane just in time. JC managed to get away. Baby did not. And that's our movie. Okay. 
Let's talk about Women in Ch Unchained. The original title of this movie was called Five Angry Women. And I'm not sure how angry they actually are, but we have a bunch of women here who escape from prison. Uh, they overtake this woman there. They jump out of a laundry basket, laundry chute thing. They get out. They kill a guard, and they're free. So they're running through the woods. They end up uh, pulling a guy off the road and taking his car. Uh, they end up going to the house of somebody that one of the women knows. And then uh, this one woman, um, her name is, uh, what was her name, JC, I think. She need, They need money. They plan to go to Mexico. I'm not sure where they are, if they're in California, New, or New Mexico, Texas, I don't know, Arizona, who knows. But they're in the desert area, and they need to get to Mexico. Somehow Mexico is freedom to them. How are they going to get to Mexico? Well, they got to pay some guy $2,500. This is somebody else that one of the girls knows. Um so the one woman goes out, she's uh, this, this black woman, JC, she goes to meet this pimp that she used to know, and the pimp <laughs> surprisingly gets money together for her. I don't know if she was a former uh, client of this pimp's, uh, uh, but he was somehow grateful to her, uh, but he gave her $2,500, actually gave her $1,500, then he made two of his other girls go get $1,000 from some guy, and then he gave that money to, uh, to her. So anyway, they have their money, and they're going to, uh, I guess, take an airplane uh, across the border, and just as the airplane's coming, for them, a cop shows up. A cop who happens to know, like the guy who's in this house where they're, they're going to go. Another shootout occurs. Um, three of the women are get killed. Actually, one of the women was killed earlier. She hung herself. Uh, I think she was a lesbian who uh, got rejected by one of the other ladies, so she hung herself. Uh, so there's four left. Three of them get shot by the cops in this big shootout. Uh, the guy who was helping them gets killed too. But JC, uh, the black woman, she actually gets on the plane as it's taken off and jumps in. And she allegedly went to freedom. I don't know. We didn't have a Women Unchained part two, so I don't know what happened next. But that's it. That's Women Unchained. Anyway, uh, I, it starts off as a women in prison movie. There is a shower scene at the beginning. You're thinking, yay, we got a lot of boobs and everything here in this movie. This is what, what we're, what, why we watch this kind of movie. But nope, that one brief scene. And, um, after that, there was, there was a couple nude scenes thrown in here and there. Like one of the women was bathing in the water. Water, uh, in in the lake, but um, other than that, <laughs> no lesbianism stuff, uh, no uh, no uh, gratuitous nudity over and over again. Just um, a big car chase and uh, just a, a road movie kind of. It wasn't all that interesting, but eh, whatever, right? Came out in 1973 or four. I can't remember for sure. Again, under the title Five Angry Women, not available on DVD. Uh, however, the VHS back in the 80s slapped on this cover, uh, Women Unchained. You might remember that, uh, that, uh, that, that picture there. She's not in the movie, um, but it was a very uh, famous box. I remember seeing it all over the place. It's also known as Escape from Cell Block 3. Or is Escape from Cell Block 6? Six, 6, I think. Anyway, that's it. Uh, like I said, it hasn't been released on DVD. This is homemade box art from a burned DVD that I made uh, for myself. So, But anyway, it's not the worst thing in the movie, but it's not that much better than the worst. So anyway, check it out. Women Unchained, let me know what you think about it. Leave some comments down below. Watch it. Bye.